We are on day three of our word part study for bio, which means life. We've talked about an antibiotic, which is a medicine that we use to kill a bacteria, which is trying to go against our life. We've talked about an autobiography, which is the story that's written down by a person about his or her own life. We've done biography, which is the story of someone's life written by somebody else. And then biologist and biology were very similar. A biologist is a person who studies life, and biology is the study of life. And that kind of life could be anything from human life, animal life, plant life. Um, all of those things are encompassed together um, in biology. And just really looking at how the suffix changes the meaning of that word. So again, I would look at how you scored on your um, sentence when Mrs. Breen graded it. You again, if you had anything, if you didn't get a minus, if you had any comments, take the time to go back and make those corrections, whether it be capital letters, periods, spelling, making sure you use the word as the right part of speech, um, just to ensure that you get your full credit. And if you have questions or you need help with this, make sure you email and ask. We can sit and open your document together, and I can help you write your sentence if you need help. So for now, you're going to set up your split screen so that you're looking at your copy, and you're also watching the screencast. And I'm going to go through, and we're going to do the next three word parts again because we have a short week this week. We're going to do three again today. So today's word is biopsy, another noun. Next to the word biopsy, you're typing the word biopsy. A biopsy is a thing, something, uh, something that is done. So it's not a person, um, and it's not a place, but it's a thing. Okay, so we've got our root here, bio, which means life. And our suffix y this time means the result of an activity. So when you make your guess, you're going to use life and result of an activity in your definition. I would guess it'll sound something similar to the result of a life activity or the result of an activity looking at life. Okay, so you decide what you want it to be. The actual definition is the removal of living tissue from the body of diagnostic examination. Okay, so when we think of a biopsy, um, when we think that we have, um, if we, we find a growth on our body or in our heart, they do um, a scan and they see something in there, they would take a piece of that tissue, they would cut it out and then study it under a microscope to see, you know, what it is. Um, a lot of times when they're trying to diagnose cancer, it's done through a biopsy. Is it a benign tissue or is it a malignant piece of tissue? Um, is it okay um, or is it harmful? And so biopsies are often related to, um, to skin or parts of our body when um, we're, we're looking at things that aren't supposed to be there. Are they harmful or not? All right, so some related words you might have. I have autopsy and gypsy. And then you're going to pause the screen the screencast and you're going to go write your own original sentence. So think about a biopsy. A lot of times if you go to a dermatologist, you might have to get a biopsy. Um, if they see like a mole on your uh, face that they want to make sure that it's not cancerous. Um, if you went and you got a, um, a scan in your, your body, if you felt um, like a lump um, under your armpit or if they did a scan and they saw like a different spot in your heart or your lungs, that's what a biopsy would be, taking that piece of tissue. After your sentence, you can go on to the next word, which is biosphere. Biosphere is a noun. You are typing the word next to my word biosphere. And again, a biosphere is a thing. Um, it might be considered a place. Um, it's definitely not a person though. All right, so we've got bio, meaning life, and we have sphere, meaning ball. And so when we make our guess, it's got to have life and ball in it. So I guess your guess could be a life ball, or a ball of life, or a ball that has life in it. 
Okay. The actual definition, though, is the zone of Earth where there is life between the deep crust and the lower atmosphere. So we live in the biosphere. We live in that zone of Earth where life can survive. We cannot survive in the atmosphere above the Earth. The biosphere is where we can survive. Okay? We can't survive in the crust of the Earth, but we can, describe, we can survive on the Earth. So that is the circle, the ball of life where we can exist. Some related words are atmosphere and hemisphere. If you were to study the atmosphere, there are lots of different layers of spheres. So the biosphere is close to the bottom, but um, I know there's a troposphere and there's other kind of spheres that show the different levels of, of atmosphere around the Earth. But again, the biosphere is where we live, where life can be supported based on the temperature and the oxygen and gravity and everything else. So pause the screencast, go ahead and write your sentence for biosphere. Make sure you use some context clues as you explain to show your understanding of the word. And when you're ready, you go on to the next word, which is macrobiotic diet. Macrobiotic diet is a noun. It's a thing. And we hear this word a lot more now. I would bet you might not have heard macrobiotic diet but I have bet you've heard of some examples of macrobiotic diets. So, bio means life. Macro means large. And ic means related to science. So, macrobiotic. What do you think it is? What kind of a diet is it? So, you're using large and life and related to science to make a guess. And it'll probably sound something like related to the science of large life or related to the science of life with something large. And what macrobiotic actually means, it's a diet thought to help people live longer because it focuses on natural foods. Okay, so a lot of times, some, uh, some diets that you might hear of as macrobiotic are keto. That's a popular diet that people do. Um, people believe that if they eat in a certain way, they change the way they eat. They eat larger quantities of um, vegetables and proteins, um, of natural fats, then um, it will help them be healthier and then live longer. So keto is a good example of a macrobiotic diet. Some related words are aerobic, dynamic, elastic, hectic, and tragic. Again, I would just pick the two words that you think you're most familiar with to use as your related words, and then you can go ahead and write your sentence. If you would like to go Google what more examples of macrobiotic diets are, um, I would bet you've heard of more. I don't know why I can't think of them off of the top of my head, but I know there are lots of them floating around right now. So um, you could always go Google that and see if it helps you with coming up with a sentence. Um, and when you finish that sentence, you are done for the day with this particular task.